with a resin. Okay. This Video Friday video is dedicated to our friend and coworker Patty, who is currently in California eating her way across the state. Happy birthday, Patty. Hope you don't explode. All right. So today we're going to talk about making small little pieces of jewelry or other little doohickeys out of resin. Now, here's some things we learned along the way. There, you can get these plastic molds, these kind of guys, or you can get silicone molds. In our experience, the plastic ones, it's pretty tough to get your resin out of. It sticks on there pretty good. The silicone ones, it's more flexible, it's uh, slipperier, it just pops out nicely. Now you can get things like mold spray release. In my experience, when I use them on plastic ones, I've just found it kind of uh, messes up the surface and sometimes there's even a reaction and you see some bubbles coming off of uh, where you sprayed this stuff. Now, for example, this is a silicone mold. Just put a big ball in here, um, popped it out, and then pour the resin in the top and you can make beautiful pieces and it comes out just perfectly smooth with the silicone and shiny. Now, what you mean is you poured resin in there and it created a ball. You didn't put a ball in there. Okay. Yeah. So anything that is made out of silicone works great with our resin. So from the baking section, you can get little cookies, the cookie trays, and same thing, they'll pop right out. So there are some hearts, there's tons of different options. You can even get these nice silicone mats for your workstation and the resin peels right up. Here's another one just from, um, a cooking store. So, silicone. That's your Video Friday uh, tip of the week. Video Friday with a resin.